Hey everyone, it's Count Black 2009 I'm doing quite fine, and welcome to Spotlight 20. Um, I apologize that it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've had um, some exams on, well, to be honest, stuff I don't know, but that's another story. I'll save that for another day. But anyway, last time, and previously, we got, we finished basically Romania Ranch. We didn't finish it completely, but we did basically all the important stuff there, so pretty much done there. We'll be going back there one or two more times. And in this spotlight, we're going to do a couple of small side quests before we um, head off to the next area. Um, first one we're going to do, we have two options here. We can either do this place, which is the treasure chest shop. Tre treasure chest shop. Or we can do honey and darling shop. And I've already decided, yeah, we're just going to do this place. It opens at 6 a.m. You need to do this place all three days in order to get what we want to win here. Talk to them, and they'll be like, it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. Oh, would you like to play? Today is Bamatu Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? The game is 10 rubies. Yep, yeah, whatever. Hit each target. Yeah, it's not hard. Biggest key is don't fall off the platform. Um, these are really easy. You just need to put down Bamatu's like crazy. And, yeah, just have them blow up. Don't get too close. Because that would be really stupid. Come on. Okay, uh... Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, oh, gotta get... No, come on. Come on. No, Link. Link. No, this thing's getting faster. Oh, no, 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 no! Come on. I'm gonna lose. Aren't I? Come on. Alright, good, good, good. Oh, oh yeah, alright. Oh, oh my goodness, I almost fell off. Come on, come on. No, Link, no, no, stop going fast. No, 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 no! No, no, no! Ah, no! I don't want to have to do this again. Oh my gosh, how many do I have left? Oh, 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 it's gonna be close. Oh, no, 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 no! I hate you too. Uh, I mean, because this stupid platform, I mean, I'm gonna. Oh, come on! How did I miss two. I would. Oh, oh. Oh, leave me are a lot easier than this. But then again, to be honest, I probably should have just done that other place first. Oh, come on! Ow! Oh, Oh my. Wow. Oh! Ow! Another one fail. <laughs> Actually, screw it. This is beyond ridiculous. Don't worry, I'm getting payback on these jerks later. Believe me. You can get a chance at payback. Alright, there's two. And that one is so far off. My aim was been horrific on these last couple. There we go. Yeah, you just want to do it right, cause, but it gets so fast, so it's so difficult to... Like, I hate this one. Like, the other two, they actually make the first day the hardest, which is weird. And, oh, come on. Okay. There we go, we have one left, and if I fail, I am going to hate myself forever. Come on. Oh! So basically, I lost 50 rubies just trying to do that. I hate that one. Um, I'm probably putting myself through enough stress already through this video trying to just get this, but we're going to go into the treasure chest shop. And basically, wait, well, I'll let her explain. She'll be like, well, aren't you a fit fellow? Want to play? 
I don't know what you mean by play, but yeah, we'll just give you 30 rubies for that. If you can make it all the way to the treasure chest and open it within the time limit, I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Are you ready? Okay, now basically what your job here to do is to find this treasure chest, is to go get it. But, once you start moving, yeah, these walls appear. Um, these walls will cut you off, you have to find the correct route. And to be honest, you need to find it pretty quickly. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this. And Oh my goodness, I just glitched through it. And we're going to get a piece of heart. And go back here and she'll be like, did you have fun? Well, when I can cheat. Um, no, we're not going to do it again because I'm not going to give you another 30 rubies. Anyway. When you do this one, you have to, in order to get that piece of art, you have to be as Darmani Link um, with any of the characters. You can um, do this place. The um, Link, I think you have to, yeah, you have to pay 20 rubies. And you get, I believe, what do you get? Um, oh, you get 50 rubies for Link. 10 Deku Nuts as Deku Link, and you have to pay 10 rubies for it. And there's one other character, you only have to pay five other transformation masks, we'll get into that a little bit later. But for him, you get 20 rubies if you win. So basically you earn 15. Link, you have to, you get 50, so you get 30, so Link's probably the best value. And as Darmani, you get the piece of heart. Now, we have one other, well we have a couple things we're going to do outside of Termina, well, in Termina itself. The first thing, oh wait. Let me go, Link, turn around. What we're going to want to do actually now, I just remembered, because we're going to do two things outside Termina, is we are going to help someone, and Itchy Back Boy is going to help us. We'll be like, whoa, nice sidebarns. Welcome, what are you looking for? <laughs> He's all impressed with my sideburns. And then look at this. Turns around. And watch this. I think he's enjoying that a bit too much. Um, if you go over here, it says, My history of tools, not for sale. Yeah. Well, who needs those when you've got... Goron Punch. Hey, baby. Uh, uh, no. We're gonna need to do that. Yes, I know what you're talking about. I did it. I'm not stupid. I'm actually gonna be playing that exact song pretty soon. But for now, what we're gonna wanna do is exit to Termina. And what we're gonna wanna do in Termina is really simple. Um, all you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna do two small little side quests. First one is down here. And in here, there are two Dodongos. No, I'm not gonna. Uh, um, what you're gonna want to do is kill them all, kill them both, um, and just keep hitting them. There's that one. And yep, one's already dead. Um. The best way to determine... I know, wow, I forgot yeah, you get a lot of rubies for hitting these guys. Um, remember how we got the new glided sword? Well, a great way to just show just how strong it is, is take out one of these guys with your Kokori sword. And with the razor sword. And, oh, I got hurt. Um, with the Kokori sword, it takes 12 hits to kill one of these guys. With the glided, I believe it's six, and or no, with the razor sword, it's six, and with the glided, it's only four. So you basically it's three times as powerful as your Kakori sword, and that's why it's 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 optional, but that's why we got it. This is the best way I can explain it. So we get a free piece of heart that way. We now have three, and we have one other small quest we're gonna do. We're actually going to head to the fourth area, or near it, which is over here. This is an east area, going out east area's thing. 
Um, these are real Bamachus. These are like those suicide guys. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to yeah, take off the human link. And you're going to want to play... Yeah, opponent's not... <laughs> For a second I thought the game didn't think I had saved and I would have been like, WHAT?! But yeah, it did save. Oh, uh, where's opponent? Question. Ow. That's not opponent. That was an opponent. But anyway, you're gonna you need her to go over these fences. These guys can't hurt you, so we don't have to worry about them. Um, leave. Yeah, we're, here. we're gonna want to jump one more fence. Yeah, right here. Um, with this guy right here. Uh, let me make sure I can't get hurt. I don't want any suicide bombers running into me. But um, basically, this guy he won't let you pass. Um. Even if you, you need the Garo's mask, which we got, but even then, you still won't be able to get to the next area. You need an item we're going to get in the Great Bay area to get it. But what you're going to want to do is use your Lens of Truth, and you're going to see this guy, and he'll be like, huh? Don't tell me that's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around, asking for help. Everyone ignores me and passes me by. Somehow I haven't died, even though I've... I've been sitting here, so I don't know how he has gotten water or food. Uh, well, I don't know. Miyamoto will explain that maybe one day, how logic in this game works, or any of his games. But it's because I'm about as pressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make me unnoticeable stone, make me feel a little better? And this is why you need that red potion. Get it out, and give it to him, and he will be like, and that... Ah, that, is that, he'll drink it, and sh he joins our team, no, not really, he'll just get up and he'll be like, I feel better, I think, thanks, oh, here, ingratitude, he'll give us the stone mask, now, let me practice standing out, Shiro, the stone soldier, was added to your notebook, you helped the incons conspicuous soldier, this was added to your notebook, I don't know what inconspicuous means, I'm in English. I'm not an English person. But this mask is actually one of the most useful masks in the game. Watch this right here. Well, okay, never mind. Basically, enemies won't notice you. See, I can be right next to this guy and he doesn't even notice me, otherwise he would. This, along with the bunny hood and the blast mask, are probably the three most useful regular masks in the game. Just because they um, allow you not to get hurt. Um, this mask is very helpful in the next area, but we won't be heading there, actually, just yet. But, as I said, we'll be heading there in the next video. But, um, Shiro is actually, just a little trivia with him, is that that's the name of also one of the carpenters from Ocarina of Time that you help in Gerudo Fortress. Yeah, and yeah, those guys are just annoying me. Um, so now that we're done with that basically done everything oh well, we're actually yeah it's gonna be a really short three days I'm not gonna even bother going to the next area because I would like to actually just finish get this one other finished honey and darlings thing so I will just cut ahead to the second day okay now that's the second day and we finished that we're gonna go back to honey and darlings shop and today we get to play a little bit new game Definitely like, yeah, 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 we have a customer, I know. It's 10 rubies. Today's game is Bomb Skip Ball, basically. Just like the Mario Party mini game, which is one of my favorites, because I basketball is my favorite sport. But anyway, the goal of this is to get a bomb inside every basket in time. It takes us to dance one through one song, which is one minute. If you throw it up too much, probably you'll fall off this time, so be careful. Yep. Basically, they're going to flood this place a little, which is kind of weird. But the goal is to throw bombs into these baskets and blow them up. Really easy. Actually, it's so easy just because you just have to time it just right. You just have to be standing straight, basically, and it will... Usually it won't go into the water. Like, see, like, right there? That was a terrible aim, like, that one right there. And so far, I have not even missed one. And how about that? It's so easy. So easy a caveman can do it. Geico reference there. So, yep, perfect, easy. Yep, they'll give us another 50 rubies. And they're like, that's annoying, because you're better than us. So, 
Now that we're done with that, we have just one more. We just have to go back to the final day. Um, I didn't really explain this area, I think, very good in previous spotlights, just because I felt like I was rushing through them. But basically, this is the mayor's office. We'll be going there a little bit later in the game, just simply because I don't want to get start one little side quest. It's the biggest one in the game, actually, that has nothing to do with the main story. But it is a really big side quest. That's also why we haven't gone into this place. This is, well, I think, I don't think we did. This is the Stockpot Inn. It's the hotel. Um, but yeah, this building is very important. Um, or someone inside it. We're not going to bother with that right now. This is the Milk Bar. This is where um, Creamia said to go with the, uh, yeah, with um, Romani's mask. It will let you in there. It opens at 10 till 6 a.m. in the morning. And we'll be going there after the we complete Great Bay. We'll be doing something there. But for now, I'm just going to cut ahead once again to the final day. Okay, now that's the final day and we're done with all that. We can do the final little thing here. Or little mini game these two have. Yep, today it's... Yeah, they'll be like, yeah, today is... Yeah, you've beat us in our last two. Basically, what you have to do is you have to hit these targets. And what's so easy about this is you can just stand still, fire like crazy, and here's where our payback comes. We can hurt them, and what's funny is time actually stops a little, so it's really interesting. And yeah, I want to hit them again just for all those. You know, I'm going to hit them one, two, three... Four, five. Because you jerks cost me 50 rubies. And this is really easy. And, huh, like same. Yeah, the moon will have those little earthquakes, but it's really easy to do as long as you don't fall off. Um, you can also do this as Deku Link. Um, there's not as many targets. You can, um, you just have to blow bubbles instead. But it's so easy. She'll be like, honey, he, he got three perfect... He got a perfect score three days in a row. This is all we have left to give him, honey. And they'll give us another piece of heart, and we'll get another heart container. And they'll be like, I wonder, are we truly happy, darling? No, you're not. But yeah, you can do it as Deku Link, and it just takes a little bit longer, or you don't have as many targets to hit because those bubbles go a little bit slower, and you get the same amount of time, so it's actually still really easy. So what's nice is we got payback, and we actually did a lot. Well, I don't know when I shorten this. This has probably been what? I'm going to take a guess. I haven't even glanced at the timer, but I'm going to end the video here because there's nothing I can do. It's already the final day, and I didn't want to... I don't want to start the next area on the final day. That would make almost no sense. So, next time on Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we will be starting the next area. And yeah, we're just going to deposit these before I go back in time. And it'll give us, yeah, 100... We'll also be getting, hopefully soon, a new wallet so we can carry more than 200, because yes, we can. Yes, we can, but anyway, yeah. Um, is there anything else to do? No, oh yeah, I'll just explain this quickly. Yeah, this is a lotto shop. Um, you can purchase um, lottery tickets here for like 10 rubies. You win a lot if you get it. Um, actually, I think I'll post that. I'll probably add in a little text thing right now during the video which will show exactly how much you get if you match numbers you have to match three numbers you get you have to pick through one through nine and you have to pick three numbers so you basically you can do like one two three you know 123 basically basically you're picking three numbers and you can only do it during the morning or daylight and then during nighttime is when you go back to see whether you won or not and if you win good for you and if you don't well that's why lottery is not good to play but yeah, anyway, next time on Legends of the Majora's Mask, guys, we'll be heading to Great Bay to finally start the third area, alright? Oh, wait, no, I don't want to save with this guy. That'd be stupid. Yeah, just play this song a time. Alright, see you guys next